Hi guys, so today I'm doing uh, like an episode 1 I guess of the top 5 fishing series and today we're going to be listing the top 5 coarse fish. So these are just, in my opinion, you may disagree or have the same opinion, I don't know. If you do, comment below. So let's get right into this. Number 5 on the list is perch. A perch, fearsome predators, uh, greedy as anything really. And what I like about perch is they don't play around, they don't mess around really. They try and go for the bait straight away when they can. And that's why I like the bigger perch because if you're using dead bait, they'll just go for that if they can actually like swallow it. Perch is quite a unique fish because easily to identify with the obviously the stripes on them and the, uh, the sharp like dorsal fin and handling them as well like just like the texture of their skin, sort of like sandpaper as a lot of people would describe it. So yeah, really easy to identify. And when they get big enough they put alright fights on. Number four on my list is chub. One of my favourite fish to go down the river for. Very powerful fish I find, especially uh, like in the mouth as well. Because I don't know if a lot of people know this, but they're also predators because they go after like real small fish like fry or stuff and sometimes caught on spinners maybe even little lures but yeah uh, very powerful with a mouse it's like a clamp I like to think it just locks on because once I was uh, trying to get my hook out of the mouth and I was, I was using a worm or something and what they must do is compress the bait or whatever like that lock it in and squeeze whatever they can out with like a big rubber lips as they like to be called and they can go up to many many pounds and what I just like about the chub is just the pure power really great fight and even if it's a little one like where I'd be uh, using like shots on the bottom or something and trying to see if I get a bite with my rod tip going like that you'll just see go like that and sometimes actually moving your rod and it could be just a chub like that big so very powerful fish and I just love going for them in the river. Very, very greedy as well. Number three is trout. Talking about power from the chub, trout have an amazing power. One time I was fishing like just in the margins of sprats, saw so, like a black figure go. I assumed it was like jack pikes, that's what I was going for back then. And yeah, it was uh, a powerful trout. Amazing look at them. Especially uh, the rainbow trout, but I've not actually caught rainbow trout, so that's why I'm not going to talk about too much. I've caught a brown trout, and again, still amazing colours and that. Uh, like I said, for the perch, easy to identify, and the mouth, just unique from other fish. It's just, uh, I like to think of it as like a sort of parrot beak or something, that's what it looks like, and very sharp, small teeth. So yeah, it definitely separates them from the other fish and it's a great fish to go for. Number two is tench. Tench are lovely fish to try and catch. What I like about them handling them is how warm they are, which I never realised. And they're really nice to hold because I would say soft, but like they're easier than other fish basically because they're not too slime or anything. Or the tench I've caught, I don't know if other people. Clearly an amazing fish because I think there was like the doctor fish or something. Which basically other fish when they're injured or whatever they actually rub up to tench. So yeah, that's quite an awesome thing to have to be a fish. <laughs> I mean their fights can probably easily get confused by carp fights. They can go up to easily 10 plus. I think uh, sort of 14 pounds, sort of like that they'll go to. I'm not too sure, but I don't think it's far off that. More bottom feeders really tench, and yeah, they'll just go after bait, so like sweet corn, boilies, like there's just a bit of a mix of carp baits, and then you've got your standard like silverfish bait mixed in there, so you know, it definitely puts your chances up of trying to catch a ten. And number one on the list, you might have already guessed it, it's carp. In my opinion, carp are the best fish. How many anglers do you know that go over carp? Many, many, many. 
and I don't even need to describe how big the carp go. Carp can go, well, obviously from one pound all the way to like 50, 60 pound, and that's only in the UK. Fights are just mad with carp, and can just swerve you to all different directions. You can be there for a lot longer than you'd think, and it's just great fun, really, with carp when they're on. They can take you to like tangles, reeds, whatever. It's just so much fun to try and go for them. Personally, I love going surface fishing, that's my favourite fishing, and carp are the best to try and fish for when you're doing that. Because you can actually see them like taking in the bread in their mouth, like, and then they just go mad when you struck. And there's not many fish really you can actually visualise that. I mean, maybe maybe pike with like some dead bait on top of something, but it's not really the same because pike they're more aggressive. And the thing with carp is, it's an open uh, like a any age group can go for carp, really. Because pike, I don't think a little kid catching sight of all these teeth is really safe. So, yeah, carp, friendly for any age group, really. And as you know, their mouth doesn't have like any teeth for you to get cut by. Many different types of carp, so, yeah. Once again, your chances will boost up of actually catching the carp. And just the thing about them is their mouths, they'll just the, the belly, shall I say, they'll just go for any bait you make. Like anglers, they could be spending ridiculous amount trying to get all these like uh, toppings, ground baits, like different flavouring and that for the carp. And it's just all the fun, really, to be honest. So, yeah, carp definitely a really popular fish and probably the best fish, in my opinion. Thank you very much for watching. Now, that's my opinion. So let me know what your opinion is. And also let me know what next top five I should do. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.